education is this, where the children of the rich and the poor receive education without any discrimination, said Mahatma Gandhi. This dream of the father of the nation seems to be an unfulfilled one. While the rich and the middle class have affluent private schools to educate their children, for the poor, languishing in the slums of this metropolitan city, life itself is a matter of survival. For someone for whom a square meal is an everyday struggle, their children's education is a far-fetched dream. The children of casual laborers and domestic servants battle through deplorable living condition. Their need for primary education is grossly neglected. While on the one hand, there are commercialized private schools that have made education so expensive and unaffordable. On the other hand, poorly run government schools are not an option. In such a situation to find education in a good school for these poor children, it is like finding water in the desert. St. Alphonsus School, run by the Redemptorists of the province of Bangalore, is indeed to these children an oasis, promising hope of new life in the midst of poverty and despair. Situated in the midst of the slums of the urban poor, mostly migrant workers from the neighboring states, it caters to the educational needs of the most abandoned section of the society. A majority of our students come from slum areas. They belong to economically poor and socially oppressed background. Most of their mothers work as domestic help and fathers as coolies. People from neighboring states come in search of labor and they are working at construction site. Their children study in our school. The Redemptorist Fathers started the Holy Ghost Parish in the year 1953. The people of this area were poor and children were not going to school. In order to educate the children, the Redemptorist Fathers, along with the Sisters of St. Joseph of Taos, started St. Alphonse School in the year 1955. There are students who are affected by HIV AIDS. These students do not find admission in any other schools. For the past 10 years, we educate these children and they are doing very well in the society. We are very happy and proud of these children. The school serves as a refuge for many of these children, giving them emotional support along with intellectual formation. Students who have passed out from here testify to this. Since I am a visually impaired person and I had to change many schools due to difficulties in my studies, finally I got admission in this school in 1991, where teachers and uh, students helped me a lot in my education. My brother and I studied in the same school and my father was a carpenter and my, my mom was an housewife. And during those days, it was very hard for us to uh, continue with the education. Why? Because uh, we were financially very weak. And, but then this school helped us to continue our studies uh, because uh, the fee structure was very less. For the teachers who play a vital role in forming these young lives, it is not just their profession. It is their vocation. They find much meaning in serving these children. In the Palikotala Mada or Gay, Palmer Solar Hill in the Varanga. Sir Kali in the Palm Pocket Potted Orvanga. Silver Kali in the paper potted Orvanga. In a silver pen for Ningala, beat the Velasenjit Orvanga. In a silver pen, 
சில ஹோட்டல்ல போய் தண்ணி நிறைச்சிட்டு வருவாங்க It's the hard work of the management and the staff that has transformed the lives of thousands over the decades. During this academic year 2013-14, we had 365 students out of which we had 215 girls and 150 boys. The high school was started in the year 1976. Since then 35 batches of students have gone out of this institution consisting of 2960 students we have all together 27 staff out of which 23 are teaching and 4 are not teaching various facilities like the library the laboratory facilities for games and art are provided to these students to help in their overall formation nan hesaru mallikarjun kudagi naavu shaleyalli makkalige krida tarbeyati nidodrinda satatavagi last 10 varshagalinda nama shaleya makkalu koko pandyavaliyalli vijayataragutta bandideve ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಬಡತನದ ರೇಖೆಗಿಂತ ಕೆಳಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬಂದವರು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಶಾಂತಿ ತಾಳ್ಮೆ ಸಿಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಚಿತ್ರಕಲೆ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಅವರಿಗೆ ನೀಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಕಲರ್ಗಳ ಜೊತೆ ಅವರು ಆಟ ಆಡುವಾಗ ತಮ್ಮನ್ನೇ ತಾವು ಮರಿತಾರೆ ತಮ್ಮ ದುಃಖವನ್ನು ಮರಿತಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ತಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವಿಟಿಯನ್ನು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಚಿತ್ರಕಲೆ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅವರು ತಮ್ಮ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಬದುಕನ್ನು ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆ Our children are very good at co-curricular activities. So we organize a number of competitions such as dancing, singing, drawing, recitation and many other. To tap the talents of our students, we organize every year Parents Day and Sports Day where all our students are given a chance to participate in it. children are given a midday meal along with milk and snacks to ensure proper nourishment regular teacher parent meetings and programs are conducted to involve parents in the education process of their children special english classes are conducted for 2 months for children promoted to the high school this is to enable the easy transition from one medium of instruction to another from tamil to english the final 10th standard board examination is a decisive moment in the student's life therefore special after school study sessions are held from 4 to 8 in the evening every day the motto of our school is service and progress we also have a vision for our school to build communion in society liberating it from ignorance fear exploitation and violence in order to achieve the vision of our school we have worked a plan for the year we have a orientation program once in 3 months we meet the parents to with the student in order to review their progress we will always will strive and struggle to educate the poorest of the poor according to the inspiration we received from our founder saint alphonse de ligor the school faces many challenges fundamentally it is the lack of motivation for education among both parents and students that's due to a lack of awareness secondly there is a lack of financial resources the government fails to provide for a sufficient faculty and so the burden is on the management yet the school has made a difference for many it is here lives that had no hope were given the courage to dream of a brighter future 
one of my best moments in my teaching career is when i meet the older students of this school i really feel very happy when i see them doing well when we see the students coming up in life we feel very proud to be a teacher in this school we have seen our children doing well after completing their schooling from here and many of them continue their education that is the joy of this institution to see our children doing well in the society i passed out the school in the year 2001 and post that i did my uh, is studies ba journalism from st joseph evening college and after that i did my mba from christ uh, evening college and then i still continued and i did my ma sociology from pondicherry university and presently i work for a insurance company called axa i finished my 10th standard in 2001 i did my ba special tamil in maharani arts college i'm working as a tamil lecturer in mohammad isaf pu college i passed out the school in the year 2001 now i'm working as a assistant professor in the department of tamil st joseph arts and science college bangalore i completed my education here in 1993 Then I continued my education I completed my PUC BA and MA and TCH and I'm working as a teacher in Jyoti Seva School for the Blind I passed out in the year 2003 in St Alfonso High School and currently I'm working in Northern Trust Bank I passed out of the school in the year 1983 I joined Jyoti Seva College for my higher studies I did my degree there after that I joined Bangalore University for my MA economics After my MA in Bangalore I joined Anamalai University for my PG uh, psychology ನನ್ನ ಈ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಸೇರಿದ ನಂತರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಸ್ಟ್ರುಗಳೇ ನನ್ನ ಸಹಾಯ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಮಾಡಿ ನನ್ನ ಬೆಳೆಸಿದ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಸ್ಟ್ರುಗಳು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಮತ್ತು ಸಮಾಜದ ಅರಿವಿಂದಾನೇ ನಾನು ಈ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಪತ್ರಕರ್ತನಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ಸಮಾಜ ಸೇವನ ಸೇವಕನಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟಚ್ ಮೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಟು ಗೈಡ್ ಮೀ ದೇವರ್ ಪುಷಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ but one of my teacher once taught them how to guide a blind person which helped them also and i felt very happy and they became my best guide till i complete my education here teachers used to provide you know, stay back till 6 or 6 or 7 o'clock in the night and they helped us to know the put hard work and study you know to get to have a better future so i would say that alfonso school is my foundation when i look back to this school i think it is because of this school whatever i am today whatever i have achieved in my life is all because of this education of what i have got in the school i would definitely say that you know that i can compare my school to a temple and i respect my teachers like god this has been possible due to the generosity of many individuals and organization sada sagaya sangam is a registered charitable society that owns and administers the school to fulfill the need of education of the poor children the society raises funds but much is left wanting the institution needs the helping hand of many more to prepare these less privileged children to be well integrated in this competitive world education is the most important weapon which you can use to change the world said Nelson Mandela St Alphonse school strives to make a difference in the world by empowering these young lives it strives to help them realize that though they stand rejected by society they are precious in the eyes of god It helps them realize that they have the right to smile. They have the right to education. They have the right to be respected. They have the right to be someone in life. They have the right for a better future.